Alright YouTube, what has got us? Hi to our 5000 here today bringing you the next episode of Road to Max. Today we are on to episode number 34 I believe, I really hope it is 34. Today this is Saturday's episode of Double X PB Kent. Yesterday we left off in a sense doing some herb lore slash feeding and basically for the past hour I've just been doing feeding, racking through level 96 at a blistering pace which is really good and here we go, so 3k away from the level now. This means that I can do, I can do all the clans with boost anyway, but I can't even be bothered using the Abyssal Lurker, I think it was the boost anymore, just can't be bothered with it. So what I've got is I've got the usual feeding set up. That aura needs to basically reset itself because I've already used it. Exoskeleton and Ardy Cloak, those are really good feeding boosts as well. I can now do seven of the eight clans without boost in Elf City, which is really, really good now. I only need, I mean that 1.1 mil there, that will not take me very long at all. This is really good, it's semi AFK in a sense, uh, ideal for me right now. What I'm doing is I'm editing yesterday's episode of Road to Max before work. I'm on about 6 hours sleep honestly, I went to bed at like 4.45 last night. But going forward uh, today, not really at all sure because I've got to go to work, it's kind of unfortunate and there's a possibility I might be going out tonight but I honestly don't think I'm going to go out just because I want to. It sounds, well it doesn't really sound sad, it's what I enjoy doing playing RuneScape and it's double XP weekend so it's a special event so uh, I'll probably actually just uh, patch the party and uh, play RuneScape instead which I know some of you are like, oh my god a party, go to party but um, to be honest I mean there's loads of other parties so it's not the end of the world. When I get home tonight, I'll definitely do some summoning. I need to do a farming run as well before I go to work, actually, as well. And I'm not really at all sure what else I'm going to do. I'm going to continue on feeding for now, just while I edit the video, just because it's quite easy to do. And, yeah, I still don't really have a set plan. I'll probably do some fishing at some point as well, so we'll just really have to see where we go. So, as you can see right now, I'm in the elf sitting, I'm doing some prayer. I'm using these cleansing stones. This is another way of training in prayer, and a lot of people tend to do this on a double XP weekend. And this is actually what I'm thinking I'm going to do now all the way to 95. A bit unexpected, I know, but someone came into my friend's chat and was basically like, you know what, Hightower, I know you want a 95 prayer, so just go ahead and do this. I knew of this method, but I didn't really do much research into it. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do Dragon Bones 95. And that was me sort of set in stone with that. Didn't really want to go ahead and do anything else. But on Double XP Weekend, and because the stones are at fixed rates, it means that this is actually a lot cheaper. And I'll explain this in more detail. This is a clip that I just missed actually of me getting level 93 prayer. I'll explain it in more detail later on. And randomly to another very strange change now, I'm doing some ring crafting. The reason was I had five dailies, I needed to do one to keep the Demonheim one, I believe it was, which I wanted to keep. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and let's do the rune crafting one because it's double XP weekend. I will get level 94, which you can see I just now have got. And I thought, you know what, it's a good chance to go ahead and do it. It's getting close to reset. As you can see, reset's already passed but because I've stayed signed in. It's meant that the Demonheim one has not gone away, which is pretty good. You only get given a new task when you actually log out after reset. So that is that. Again, I know this is a really bit of a choppy start, I guess, or a choppy evening. It's been a long day at work, really, and I was uh, just starting to panic, and I forgot to do a farm run and all that sort of stuff. So I've just been chopping and changing skills, really. All right, so it's just entered into the Sunday afternoon. I uh, slept a lot last night just because of the fact that I didn't really sleep too much on the Friday going to Saturday. I stayed up to, what was it, like 5 a.m. or something ridiculous, and then after that as well, I ended up waking up at 11. I had to finish off something for Union. Then I had to go to work. So yesterday's games, you've seen a few levels. But they weren't that amazing, to be honest. Nothing too special. So today's really the big day. It's the final day. I might wake up earlier tomorrow and try to get one or two hours in there before it ends tomorrow at midday. Or I think it's maybe one o'clock, actually, at length, because we're in summertime right now. So... What am I doing today? Well, first of all, here I am doing smithing, trying to get rid of all these protein bars. Now, as you can see, I managed to get level 95, which is really, really good. Now, I've decided, as I basically told you, I'm not going for 99 in the last episode, or start of this episode, just because it's too expensive. Um, what I need, basically, I think, or something, I don't know how much XP I need. So, basically, I need about 3.4 mil or something, and roughly, but I don't plate bodies right now, it's cost me about 7 or 8 GP per XP. Do that math. Say I need, I think it's about, what, 4 million XP times 7 or 8. I mean, that's, what, 28 million right there. So, I'm going to leave it for now, um, and 
I'm not really at all sure how I'll get 99. I still need to think that through, but there's no rush. It's at a very high level now, which I'm happy with, so it'll do it for now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do summoning. Uh, there's still a lot of skills that I need to really do, so I need to use up all my charms. That's what I'm going to do next. However, I'll probably do a farm run before that. Forgot to do one yesterday totally, so to be honest, there's not going to be much farming gains at all this weekend, which is kind of disappointing. Also been doing a wee bit of feeding, a wee bit into that level, did a wee bit of mining as well. Down to under 800k for that. Obviously got my rune crafting level, which I'm happy with. Did a wee bit more fishing as well. Under 400k to get to 93. However, I was uh, I did part of the waterfall. I did some waterfall yesterday. And uh, compared to Barbarian, which I was doing on Friday, Barbarian is much, I feel it's much faster anyway. Um, so not really at all sure if that's just because I'm level 92 or what, but I'll probably actually go back and do Barbarian just because it was a wee bit easier. Did my Serenity post, I'm only 20k away from getting that level as well. And bar that, I think I'm on track. So, stuff I still really need to do. I need to do summoning, I would like to do some Dungeoneering. Uh, I'd like to try and get Fishing to 93. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need. Oh, prayer, that's the big thing, prayer. So obviously last night I was cleansing stones, I'm going for 95. What I'm gonna do, I think in my bank right now I have something like 11k Dragon Bones. So yeah, as you can see, I've got these 11k Dragon Bones right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna sell all them and I'm basically just gonna buy stones and clean them because it's AFK. And on double XP weekend, it's much faster. And the good thing is it's a fixed rate as well. It's 110k per stone. Whereas, for example, these, these fluctuate. I mean, I realise they're at the cheapest they've been in a long, long, long time. I wonder how much they actually are. Well, yeah, they're only 1,800. And this means as well that I can get 95 prayer faster. And that means uh, I can start bossing straight away, which is pretty exciting. Might try and get some Abyss in as well, just because I'd like to try my range up a bit. However, I imagine the Abyss would be absolutely hoaching. And because I've not got a Charming Imp as well, it's going to be kind of shy. So that is the smithing level, though. So far, we're now at 8, coming up for 9 million XP. Can't remember how much we gained last double XP weekend, but I'd at least like to gain probably about 12 to 15 million XP. That would be ideal. So today is going to be quite a long day, but ideally I'm going to be on for the whole day. And summoning XP is quite fast as well. Not so sure how much summoning XP I'm expected to get. I'm about to go ahead and buy all the resources just after I finish this inventory of smithing. But I've got to 95, that is really good. Happy with that. And in the future, I guess, we'll see where we go with this skill. Alright, I swear I am the worst YouTuber ever, honestly. The amount of levels I miss, I'm just... Eh... Yeah, I'm just always doing something while playing RuneScape at the same time. It's never just RuneScape, so that's why I keep missing levels, which is really annoying. But there we go, this is summoning. So I've started this summoning grind, I guess you could say. Right now, I'm currently working my way through all my green charms. So 1,600 of these, had about 1,300 green charms. Using some of my spirit emeralds. I'm not using up some of my good spirits. Save like the rubies, the diamonds, and the better ones for the up and coming crimsons, which is a fair amount and a fair amount of blues as well. That's me got the first level. I think I can get to at least 84, uh, which will be nice to see. It is now not my joint lowest level. It was one of them. But uh, now that I'm going to start doing a lot more combat, now they've got higher herb lore and higher prayer, that does mean that I'll be getting more charms. That's why I want to do some dungeon eating as well this weekend. I realise it's not double tokens, but I need to start getting tokens back just because I don't have a charming imp anymore. Once I have a charming imp, though, that will make life so much easier, which will be really, really good. Right now, this is going to take me quite a while to get through all these greens, but once I've got through this pile, then it'll be a lot easier. I'll be able to go on to the better ones, the crimsons and the golds. I don't even know if I'm going to do my golds, to be honest, but my crimsons and the blues, that's probably where the most XP, I imagine, will come from. Do my greens first to get them out of the way. So hopefully this won't take too long. I've had to spend a lot of money on resources, but I'll get some money when I sell it back, obviously. I really need to just go ahead and probably make some more money after this weekend. I'll do a few hours of just cleaning herbs to be honest because that will make me a shit ton and the thing is the economy right now is so fucked up so I'll need a few weeks to settle down and then hopefully uh, the money making methods that I showed in that video will uh, resume as normal. Yep definitely worst YouTuber EU honestly that's me missed the next summoning level and still doing greens actually slowly getting through them need enough there actually I think I am what Depends how much I'm saving to be honest. I'm using the Emerald Gems. What I did was I went out and I bought an extra 300 of these water orbs. So hope that they'd land up coming together about the same. I don't think that's quite going to happen. Have I still got a green? Actually, I need to buy myself 
get myself a new Spirit Emerald. These are very, very handy though. Can't remember really where I got them. I could have been the Treasure Hunter keys, but they are so, so, so useful and they are helping me out. So that's me got 83. I'm maybe thinking I can maybe get up to 85 now because I never really took into calculation the amount of charms that I'll be saving. And when I'm doing, for example, blues, I will be, uh, emeralds only give you a, like, a 20% chance of saving charms. So there in that inventory, as you see in the bottom there, I saved three. With like Dragonstone, I think it's something like 60%, which is absolutely mad. So just have to wait and see really how we do with that. Never realized, I mean, I knew something was very expensive, but honestly, it's like crashing my bank, honestly. How much are these worth? These are worth what? 2k each, right? So when I sell all this back, what, maybe get 3 mil back from it, and the amount I've spent on it has just been absolutely ridiculous. So it's kind of unfortunate I'm going to lose. Basically, this weekend is near enough going to wipe out my cash stack. Now, I have been thinking, actually, because I'm going to be spending this evening with my girlfriend, I need to get the non-AFK skills that I need to do out the way. I've still got protein traps to use, so in a sense, I really have to go ahead and use them up next. Just because that's more logical, I think, for me to go ahead and do that, because that's the least AFK thing I need to do. Four things I really still need to do that I'm going to be able to do this weekend. Not going to get in any dungeon eating, don't think I'm going to get in any agility, unfortunately, this weekend. Um, and it doesn't really matter if I get 93 fishing, but the four things I still want to do are get the hunter, use up them protein things there. Then I also want to go ahead and get 95 prayer, that's a definite must before double XP weekend. Then I need to get up to near enough 99 mining and 99 feeding because I'm getting them for next weekend. And this week coming up for me is absolutely chaotic, honestly. It's ridiculously chaotic. So before going to RuneFest on Saturday. So I'm not even bought my bloody camera for God's sake. That's today's job is to buy the camera. Get it delivered ASAP. Uh, the midweek video is probably going to be a blog. I think it's going to be uh, might actually be some RuneScape clips as well, but just have to wait and see. It's just me preparing um, and talking about London, what we'll be doing down in London and that sort of stuff. Really looking forward to it now. I actually can't believe it. it's only like five days away. So never been to London before, never flown by myself before either actually. So that'll be fun. Uh, I'm meeting one of my good friends down there uh, who goes to the same university as me. He was in the same course, but he changed. So that'll be good fun. However, he's actually getting the train down. So he's not going to be at uh, RuneFest till about 12 o'clock in the uh, midday, actually, of the event. He's not going to miss much, to be honest. There's nothing. It doesn't really kick off to about 1 o'clock. And that'll be good. So I'll actually be loner for the first week while. Um, so I kind of need to make some friends. So that's what Wednesday's video, I guess, will be about. Um, but now just continuing on, still watching YouTube videos, really, I should really actually get myself ready and actually eat food. I've uh, not ate food in like four hours yet, I've had a can of coke today and that's it. So, anyway, continuing on with this for now, and I guess I'll have to go buy probably more resources for these and these soon as well, which will probably send me back another kabillion. Only got 10 million left, which is really shite. Saying that, I will be getting the 14 or so mil coming in from the dragon pickaxe, which is good. So, to be honest, I don't mind spending this last 10 mil. And of course as well, when I'm actually using them cleansing stones for prayer, I'll just be going ahead and selling all of my dragon bones that I've got. And they are probably worth a good, I'm hoping about 30 mil. Actually no, it won't. It'll only be worth about 18 mil, which is still a decent amount of money anyway. This is the thing that really annoys me as well, is the amount of shards I'm having to buy. I've bought, I've probably gone ahead and bought maybe 50 of these boxes so far, and this is just doing the greens open all and that cost me like 1.25 mil which is absolutely expensive as anything but i guess it's for a good need and summoning is one of these skills which you actually you know it's worth actually doing summoning is a beneficial skill so anyway i've rambled for a long long time there so let's continue on and this time you see me recording but i'm not actually getting a level just yet so that's me used up on my blues and i'm now only 4k away which is pretty good not but i'm not really going to bother using up my golds unless I am like under 10k away from when I use up all my crimsons. So that's me basically now got 84. I need to go ahead and basically sell up everything and work out what I'm going to do next. I was going to use my crimsons first, but it was going to be... I can't really do anything awesome. I could make lava titans, but I don't have enough obsidian charms. So I'm not going to bother going to try and retrieve them. So the next good blue thing was at level 86, so I had to go back to 79. And that was, I did Moss Titans there as well. So enough about that. I need to go ahead and basically sell everything up because I need money because I'm running out of money. Used up a lot of these as well. These Dragonstone ones which were pretty fucking awesome. So made a lot of pouches and also got quite a few leftover 
tertiary ingredient as well. So if I go sell these instantly, because I do instantly need the cash, I'm not at all sure if I'll get very much for these. That's three mil, that's not too bad, but considering the amount I spent, I probably spent, spent that alone on just uh, shards, which is absolutely ridiculous. So if I sell this back, then hopefully I'll make a decent amount of money and then I need to buy my crimsons. So I'm not at all sure what I'm gonna do for crimsons yet either. So there we go, that puts me back up to 12 mil, which is all right. So hopefully we can get to level 85, that would be really ideal, a nice round number, and from there, I think actually I might have to go ahead and do some feeding before I do some hunter, I'll get some hunter in though, so don't worry. I am honestly so stupid, like, I just recorded a clip saying I'm about to get level, I come along here, and I get level without recording, it's just, oh, anyway, there's 84, not at all sure we can do anything else new. Uh, that, but I'll never probably do that, let's be honest. Ah, not the worst YouTuber after all. I have managed to clock this level. So it's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we are 4k away off getting level 85. So here it goes, just about use up all my charms and all the hides. 85, nice round number. It's also by quite a bit now, not my lowest skill. It's into 3 million, 3 million, 3.3 million it's near enough at now. It will get, I'm just going to finish off with the one or two inventories I've got left of these crimsons and then I'm going to leave summoning there. So the idea was to get summoning a lot higher but unfortunately I lost my charming imp. So for next double XP weekend which is six months time I really hope to get at least up to level 96. And I'll start preparing for that very soon. As soon as I get my charming imp back I'm going to start doing a lot more combat thanks to my higher herb lord and prayer level now. Anyway, uh, I'm not really at all, I've not ate today yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go make myself some food, but for that I'm going to still AFK. I'm probably just going to put feeding on and just run through every minute or two while cooking. And then my girlfriend's coming over, so that means it's going to get a lot more, in a sense, I'm going to have to do a lot more AFK because she's not going to want to watch me play RuneScape, is she? So that's what I need to really go ahead and do. I will, um, I'll be starting to do AFK skills slowly, but I'll be logging in and logging out all night. So there's not really going to be too many clips, uh, or too many more exciting clips to be honest from this point onward. It's probably just going to be the same old that you've seen. However, I really do need to get through these next few levels of mining. Well, I need to get through the rest of mining. I need to get up to 99 feeding as well and prayer as well. Probably need to go ahead and sort out my bank as well for that. Just need to give myself some more money really. And uh, we should be good to go on that front. I have at the 10 million XP mark though, which is good to see. So ideally by the end of the weekend, I'd, as I said, I'd like to be in between 12 and 15 mil. I realize some people have probably got like 200 million XP this weekend. Great for them, but I'm not quite them, unfortunately. As you can see, I'm probably actually just gonna stop summoning there to be honest, unfortunately, just because of the fact that I can't get any more of these because of the Grand Exchange limit and I can't really be bothered asking anyone. So I'll leave that there. I'll probably go ahead and get my feeding kit on now and go ahead and start some feeding while cooking some food. So summoning, worth doing. Gonna go ahead and sell these pouches that I've made now and I guess we'll continue on with the feeding grind. Right now we have got a 960k to level 98. So I'm not at all sure how long it'll take. Probably take a few hours but it will be worth it. All right, so I've been away, I've came back. Time's unfortunately not on my side though. I managed to train some more feeding, I managed to get down to 257K, which is not too bad. However, I'm still not really where I want to be, and I do have university tomorrow, so I guess I'll have to be really tired at uni, that's the bottom line. So I still want to try to get everything. I, I'm not bothered about the mining, to be honest, and I'm not too bothered about the feeding, because I will be still playing this week, and I'll need to AFK, because I'll be doing uni work, so those two skills work for perfectly, so that doesn't really matter. I need to get prayer done, would like to get hunter done as well, and then, not really at all sure, maybe some agility. Things are all really up in the air right now. Anyway, I'll just sell these, don't know if these, okay, so these are going for a wee bit cheaper. I thought these would be untouched over the weekends, just because there's no real need for them. But I'm saying that if I can get 18, 19 mil for it, so there's 20 mil, so there's maybe only a few GP under my initial offer there. So that 20 mil is now all going to go towards magic experience. So if we head back up to where we were earlier on, that is what I'm going to do. I might just say prayer there. But this part is really AFK, but I just need to get it done. I just need to get that remaining, I'm not at all sure, 487k plus it's probably going to be about another 900k on top of that so it's going to be quite a lot of experience quite a lot of money it's going to be used but i do have that 20 mil now which i'm happy to go ahead and spend it on
So I'm now going to go ahead and do some of this. As you can see, a lot of people are up here doing these cleansing crystals. This is Ultra AFK. I just need to make sure I don't actually click on the screen. And the amount of XP I get is absolutely great. Now I need, what, 480k plus, probably going to be about another 900k I'm going to need on top of that, maybe about 800k. So it is quite a wee bit to get to the next two levels actually it will take me quite a while as well but it's ultra afk so this means the next two hours i'll be afk however i've still got uni stuff to do and all that sort of stuff so this it just needs to get out of the way really so i guess i'm going to get on with it. it's not really exciting to watch to be honest nothing exciting is going to happen so i sort of just have to grind it out time as i said it's not really on my side uh, but hopefully i will be able to get this and at least do hunter as well so as you can see i'm still unfortunately doing prayer playing a bit of fifa right now because i can afk i know yes i should be studying yes i should be doing this x y and z also spend some time with my girlfriend as well uh, but there we go, there's the level, nothing really too exciting to report. I'm going to continue on with this for at least the next hour. I'm getting really, really tired though, so I'll probably go to bed soon. But this means I'll have a few hours. If I go to bed like now, well, I'm not going to go to bed now, but say if I go to bed within the next hour, that means I'll wake up um, three or so hours before double XP weekend ends, and that means I can get a good shift in in the morning. All right, so it's just gone and hit midnight or uh, one o'clock, I guess you could say IRL. So the game has actually reset, and I forgot to do my daily gathering limit today, so no Hunter XP. But I managed to get through this level at relatively good pace, and I've saved myself a lot of money actually. When I sold all my Dragon Bones, I got about 18 mil, and that brought my cash tick up to about 32 mil. I'm only down to 24 mil, so I've actually only spent 8 mil on these levels. Now, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't have needed them 11k. Bones, I would only needed about 8k of them, but I have probably saved myself some money actually. And I've got myself a few extra stones there as well, plus one or two in the bank, just some thieving. So I'll be using them in the future as well. But that's me finally approaching 95. Already had two shouts um, to go do some bossing, and I'm really, really tempted to do bossing. And I just need to work out what the best combat setups are to go with. And I think I probably need to start training range a wee bit more. Range and probably attack. Those are two that I probably need to defend. I need to get everything up to be honest. And the combat side, but now I've got prayer and I've got her blower. It's a real, real, real advantage. And it does mean that I can definitely go into boss situations now with teams and actually participate and actually be useful. Because before when I did try these things, it was me teleporting away after two kills or me standing there hitting zeros for about an hour. So Whereas obviously I now have that little bit extra, that I can do that little bit extra and it's just absolutely great. So bossing is not overly appealed to me in the past, but I think it was because I had the lower stats. But now I watch like all these like Chris Archie prods and all this sort of, there's one or two YouTube channels out there which basically do that. And they sort of give you the clips of basically people doing bosses. Now don't get me wrong, it's mainly an old school, but it's just some of the loot you see people get and how much fun it is. Half the time I have people in my friends chat as well, like, oh, I made so much money on this boss and so much money on this boss today. It's like, I kind of want a piece of that. So that's what is going to be happening in the future. Can't really say when, to be honest. There might be some bossing, a bossing video this week, but really just depends when I have time, to be honest. Because I think a lot of people would like to see bossing. I think a lot of people would like to see combat. And combat is definitely an area now which, um, if you look at my lowest skills, my lowest skills attack is my second lowest skill, range is my third lowest skill, lowest skill right now being farming slash slayer. So there's four of my bottom skills, four of my lowest skills are actually three combat skills if you know what I mean. So definitely a lot of room for improvement there. I know people like to see that. So it's sort of a win-win in that sense. And anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and check this and see that turmoil is there, which is pretty fucking beast. I uh, use this stone up, obviously, and use these last two stones up. That'll take me a tiny wee bit into this level. I'm probably actually going to go to bed, but then I'll wake up a wee bit. I'll wake up like 10 o'clock, and I believe there'll be three more hours of double XP. So we'll see how we do with that. Again, not really at all sure, to be honest, what I'll end up doing. Hopefully get some hunter in, but if not, it's not the end of the world. I uh, probably need to do a bit of feeding as well. I only have, what, 800k mining to do. That'll get done for the week because I'll be AFKing. Feeding, I will have to find time for feeding. I'll probably do that tomorrow afternoon, actually. Just because that'll take a wee bit longer. So about 250k per hour, and so it's going to take about three... It's going to take about... I need to spend about five hours on that, to be honest. Uh, whereas the mining, I can... 
with boosts i mean i can pretty much get that 800k in about two two and a bit hours so especially the voice of seven is active Overall though it's been a pretty good double XP weekend, gained the two or two of the levels that I wanted to gain which is Herb Lauren Prayer and obviously I'm pretty much there with mining and feeding to be honest, not too far away at all, nice as well to get some summoning up, nice to get up to 85 as well, it's always been one of my lowest skills so now there's a wee bit of a gap there. Also nice to get one or two other skills as well, smithing I add a bonus, some fishing XP and add a bonus. Again, rune crafting and one or two other skills as well. Just getting some XP in, like in farming and in agility, that was really, really nice. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling right now and I'm going to go off. I doubt we'll be doing any bossing tonight. Someone was muttering on in my friend's chat earlier on about going for some bossing, but I don't think that'll happen tonight. I d honestly wouldn't even know what boss to go for, so um, I guess we'll just really see what happens overnight and uh, I guess I'll just continue on my prayer for now. Alright, so I'm going to put all these clips together now and I'm redoing the commentary for this just because this was really late at night, like even the last clip was like a wee bit dull. So I had to leave it in though. So I uh, came to the best, as I said earlier on, I wanted to try and improve my combat skills. I said I was going to do Hunter, but Hunter was a bit... I can do Hunter whenever I want really. Um, I know, I can't remember the name of the minigame for Hunter, but it is very good my friend says, so I'm going to take his word for it. I uh, will uh, get some protein traps in though, don't you worry. And of course, divine locations. I mean, it's as simple as that. Hopefully, do a wee bit more divination as well. And that gives you a wee bit of hunter too. Not really much, um, but back when I had a lot lower hunter level, divination really, really helped it out. Anyway, so we're here. I decided to buy some uh, chinchompas. Now, the only reason I'm buying these is because it is double XP weekend. That is the only reason. I wouldn't usually buy chinchompas because they are just so, so, so expensive. So. But I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do this. Let's try and get the fastest range of XP possible and see if we can go ahead and get a few levels. So that's really what I've done here. Unfortunately, the worlds are very, very busy though. But I'm going to get an array of levels here. And that's, well, not an array of levels, I guess. You could say there's two different kinds of levels. I'm going to get constitution level and I'm going to get a few range levels as well, which is good. Bought myself 2k chins. Uh, it'll last me quite a while. It'll last me... Basically last night and I sort of got bored and really tired so I did finally go off and I landed up coming on uh, this morning and finishing off basically what I was doing last night. So I did two trips overall actually, I had to go bank because usually when I was doing this previously with magic to try and get um, some magic levels that also brought up my defense. A few episodes back when I was actually getting charms for double XP weekends. When it must have been the magic armor I was using, I was taking no damage at all. We had some using a royal dehyde setup I think for this. I was actually taking a fair bit of damage, which is kind of unfortunate, so um, I needed to go ahead and actually get some food, or more food actually, because I was actually going through my food and all my prayers. A nice few wee levels there, didn't take me too long, uh, this training was definitely justified and I'm glad I did it because it will help me out when I get around to doing more combat. Alright, so you join me on the Monday morning, there's only 40 minutes of double expedients left, I had to probably leave in about 35 minutes, so I'm like, okay, it's very quick to try and use up as many of these proteins as possible. I thought, you know, I should use planks first, just because there isn't very many of them. I've got another small protein box on the treasure hunter keys, so I managed to get some more planks. Just going to do a few mahogany tables, won't take me very long at all. Ideally, like to get up to 92, because that's a nice round number. I won't with this, obviously, but in the future, I might try and go ahead and do that. thought I'd just record this clip, just showing you what I'm doing in my last 40 minutes. I'm not going to get a level here, actually. Just doing some tables and hopefully next level XP we kind of have a lot more protein planks. So finally we are in the jungle and we are doing some hunting. I'm trying to capture red chins right now. I'm not so sure if it's actually the best thing for me to do with my protein traps. There's probably something higher I could go ahead and trap. This is what I'm doing right now though. That's really it to be honest. That's a double X weekend pretty much over. See how much XP I get in this next half hour I guess you could say. Also need to start getting ready though. Fortunately I left this very late on but... I think with the, if I used up even all my protein traps, I'm not at all sure I would even get a level. Just really depends on how the capture rate is, because if you get you capture a red chin, then you obviously get the full XP, but if you don't, you still get some XP, you get like maybe a third of the XP. Just really depends on how many I actually capture and how many just trigger my traps. So I'll give you an update when I'm just about to finish and go offline. And I know I said that I should do Hunter throughout the whole weekend, I just never really got around to it. Alright, so you join me in the jungle right now. I'm just doing some hunter. Unfortunately, I've not really got uh, very far. I've had to do one or two things in the last half hour along with this. It means I've not actually got too much XP. 
but it is a decent way through level 85 anyway and through doing Divine Locations I'm sure we'll get a few more Hunter levels very soon. So that's really going to wrap up this double XP weekend actually, it's been a very very good double XP weekend, got a lot of skills that I'm just really glad I've got, some extra, some skills as I said, yeah I wish I would get but I'm sure I'll get in the near future as well. For that though, that is really it for me, I've got to go unfortunately, there's only about what, uh, 15 minutes left anyway, so it's not like I'm going to miss out too much anyway, um, but I really think I have actually done quite well and actually made a good progress I guess you can say this weekend so that's me basically at 13.4 mil managed to gain what like 25 levels in total and that might level that's not easy yes I realize someone some people have gained like hundreds of millions of XP um, but I mean I'm not that person I'm not that person so next double XP weekend I'll be a lot more prepared next double XP weekend as well I should hopefully stream it I've already been talking I'm gonna do some bandos this afternoon uh, so there'll be a video probably midweek about uh, me bossing I guess you could say and from there I'll hopefully get into live streaming because I think that's what a lot of people want and then that means next up XP weekend will hopefully be a live stream as well and anyway, I've got to shoot off now so thank you very much for watching another long episode hope you have enjoyed it please leave a like, rate, subscribe if you're new around here my name is Hijai5000 and I'm out adios